Hey good people, what's going on? Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. I plan to do three videos for you. Last night I did two. So last 24 hours I've been giving you some content uh, whenever I can. So hopefully these fragrance reviews will be helpful for you as usual and I can provide you some information. So today what I plan to do is I want to do two female fragrance and one comparison video between two very popular fragrance. Actually one is a flanker of the other. But I would like to start with female fragrances first and I'm going to keep them relatively shorter today. Not in-depth super. So first fragrance I'm going to start with is uh, Mont Blanc. Mont Blanc is a very very popular designer house. They make great pants. They make beautiful fragrances too. Uh, perhaps not as many as many other designer houses but they do have the, those products. And Mont Blanc if you see uh, they are their boutiques usually are very very posh so the fragrance today we have here is a uh, women's perfume i'm not quite sure if it's a flanker but i have tried the men's version of it this is a uh, presence dune fame okay uh, this is a 75 ml bottle i think this is the big bottle size and this is for female and what you call this is i think edt uh, edt concentration okay so this is the big box looks quite big sideways it's quite big Nothing much, nothing fancy, but decent looking box and then with their uh, emblem. And the fragrance is, most beautiful part is the bottle. You know, I saw the bottle and like, this is not my bottle, someone bought it, but uh, she lent it to me for reviewing. Here we go, sorry for <laughs> all the, it's gonna be something like Bulgari, uh, let's say, what do you call? Uh, let me show you from far, cause yeah, I don't, the room is kinda messy. <laughs> it's showing all the reflection, anyway. So it has this glass bottle up top, okay, like this beautiful eye-catching amber color juice and this body is i think plastic and the name in front the name of mont blanc uh, dune fame and then some of the information they will write down the worst thing about this thing is this thing is fingerprint magnet moment you put your finger it's gonna get dirty you have to constantly wipe it and then the and the nice thing touch about it inside that uh, sprayer it has a mont blanc emblem in there it's the shape of the sprayer here you spray it's a uniform body and everything so anyway, uh, this perfume, uh, it's very nice, okay? So let me uh, hold it from far and review this for you. This actually, I sprayed on the paper for some time. This is very, very beautiful. If you do not, if you're not a brand snob, like say you see a fragrance like Calvin Klein or Davidoff and you're just like, no, I'm not gonna give them any chance because I'm more into niche perfume. I'm more into Dior and Chanel's. Then you're gonna miss out on great fragrances. This is one such great fragrance. It will catch you off guard. It will surprise you. Uh, this fragrance is so nice. So, so nice. Uh, let me spray this and tell you the opening. Beautiful spray. Okay. So the thing is this bottle, when you stand it like this, uh, it will be like this on your shelf. It will look very, very posh. Okay. And the fragrance bottle, it's almost like Bulgari Aquamara, you know, like the men's Aqua line, if you've ever seen those. Let me just show you. Hopefully I can reach. Ah, damn. <laughs> uh, okay, you see this bottle? Uh, similarity? Yeah. Different houses, but I think Bulgari Aqua line looks really nice. This bottle is not so heavy, by the way. It's, it might look heavy, but it's not. So when you spray it for the first time, you get this beautiful, I think there's an orangey note. There's some citruses. And the main notes in this is a little bit of pepper, a little bit of sandalwood. Um, it's almost like there's a vanilla or something there. It's not super warm. It's not super fresh. The perfume is pretty unique. I cannot describe it like 10 other fragrances, okay? Because I did not smell so many other fragrances and it surprised me. Price point wise, Mont Blanc Presence, I think this is gonna cost you about 35 to $40, which is very, very good deal. And the fragrance, you need about two sprays to make it last about six, seven hours. So this one, it's more about woody, peppery, orangey, and kind of almost like someone said, it's almost like a body lotion, suntan lotion. You can definitely see it and it has some florals in it. So pretty damn unique okay i mean just for uniqueness i'm giving this 10 out of 10 for the bottle how mesmerizing this looks okay i'm giving it also 10. so the pricing also price point is very good if you can find it discounted you can get it about 20 something dollars great but i think it's going more about 30 dollars or so so where can you use it you can use it for summer and spring you can use it for daytime going out it's such a pretty perfume i'm telling you just ignore if you are well out of the brand like home oh, home long cheap brand you know i'm gonna be casual not gonna be nice ah uh, no cancel your thoughts all right this is pretty awesome fragrance okay i would give this very very high ranking uh, i'll give it like nine out of ten okay for performance is great smell wise unique bottle is great okay it has some peppery kick it's not too overpowering but it does have like a nice 
a beautiful skin on your skin so it will give you a beautiful projection about three feet or about two hours or so after that it's close to your skin but really nice perfume to have okay only thing perhaps it will take a lot of space if you sit it like this let's say right that okay it's gonna take up like this much space all right so you have to find your way to store if you don't have a huge collection shouldn't be a problem so you guys know emblem dune fame i'm giving this nine out of ten okay sorry for all the messy things you saw through the reflection so time for uh second review which is gonna be a tom ford fragrance take care guys see you soon bye bye